my right here, Richard Aldrich, who is professor in Warwick University, uh, probably the leading, if I can say so, UK academic in the, in the study of intelligence. And Richard has very kindly come here tonight and said to say a few words. So maybe Richard, you say a few words to close the lodge of the book. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Daphne Park is, is an extraordinary person. And she exemplifies the way in which at some point in the middle of the 20th century, Britain discovered the way in which intelligence would leverage power. So Britain has, a, Britain has an intelligence system from perhaps 1909. Uh, Keith Jeffrey, Christopher Andrew have written books about the foundation of MI5, MI6. But actually, be between 1909 and the Second World War, British Prime Minister did not know what to do with it. Lloyd George, Baldwin, Chamberlain, but I hate Chamberlain. Um, <laughs> they didn't know what to do with it. And this is extraordinary moment with the arrival of Churchill. Churchill understands intelligence, he loves intelligence, he loves special forces, and, and he expands them, but it's a mess. And a bit like Little and Large, a bit like Morecambe and Wise, there's this other guy called Attlee. And Churchill and Attlee work together. And by 1951, there's this amazing thing called the British Intelligence Community. And intelligence is used to leverage British power. And Daphne is part of that. Daphne is part of this amazing fancy footwork, which prolongs the British presence in the international system. And I remember talking to Daphne at a conference in 2009, and, and I said, you know, what is the defining characteristic of British intelligence in the, the late 20th century? And she said, um, shortage of money. <laughs> and actually, that's, that's the story that, 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 that British intelligence allows Britain to maintain this presence in the British inter in the international system at a time when actually Britain is is under real pressure in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and, and Daphne is part of that. Daphne is part of this really intelligence use of information to project British power. And, and it's exemplified by Daphne's time in Hanoi. So this extraordinary um, moment when Daphne is in Hanoi, Britain has a consulate in, in Hanoi during the Vietnam War because Britain is not at war with Vietnam. Um, and it's two people, it's Daphne and her assistant, and, and uh, as you retell beautifully in your book, um, Daphne wants a rickshaw driver to help her bring her guests from Hanoi Airport to the consulate. And they say, no, no, no. And finally she says, well, what if you made a spy from the North Vietnamese Security Service my rickshaw driver? And they say, oh, well, all right then. Um, we'll give you a rickshaw. And this was, this was typical. And, and her relationship with the North Vietnamese KGB um, was really good until she did a really funky birthday party for the Queen's, it was the Queen's birthday party, party. and it all fell apart. But I mean, <laughs> absolutely fantastic, larger than life character who projected British power um, beyond its real extent. And you've told her story beautifully. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.